God bless the pugilists. Let me say this, right? Um, Rolly Romero versus Islam was Islam Islam Barroso. If I'm saying it right, I don't. I can't never get the guy name right. The forty year old came through. The forty year old came through. <laughs> the 40 year old came through. I was watching 78 Sports TV. He called him the, uh, the, uh, oh my God. Oh, the Amazon Elder. The Amazon Elder came through. <laughs> he said it as a joke. That shit was funny as hell, but that's actually a dope ass name. The Amazon Elder. That's a dope name. That's a dope name. The Amazon Elder. The Amazon Elder came through. He came through. If you watch the video I did, the previous video where I did a prediction on this, I just thought that this guy was a pushover. He was about to go in there and fall down, and uh, Rolly was going to run through him, and they was going to, um, you know, just, uh, just you know, he was just there just to crown Rolly with the belt. Who would have thought this would have happened? I really didn't think. I thought Rolly was a little bit better than that, and I thought Rolly would. I knew Rolly is kind of new to boxing. He's kind of new. And he fights like he's new. That's why he'll never get over the hump. But I thought that he would at least be in the gym working on his craft. You can't let a 40-year-old guy do you like that. A 40-year-old guy uh, from uh, well, he's from Venezuela, the Amazon. He's from the Amazon, the, the Amazon elder. You can't let this guy do that to you. You cannot allow this guy to do that to you at all. Anybody else would have threw that guy in the garbage. Quickly, like quickly, two, three rounds out of there. Like, Roly can I mean, Roly, uh, they say Roly, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Tony Weeks. Tony Weeks. They had to fix it. That was a fixed fight. That was a fucking fixed fight. Boxing, man. Fucking boxing, man. Did it again. Boxing did it again. That was a fixed fight, man. They, uh, Tony Weeks should be ashamed of himself. He should be out of the sport of boxing. I don't never want to see Tony Weeks again in nothing. That was disgusting. And let me say this. Tony Weeks is a better ref than that. That's how I know that shit was fixed. That was fixed. Let me talk about the fight first. The uh, Amazon elder, he he came out there ready to bump. He caught Roly, knocked Roly down with a left hand. Roly a sucker for a straight left hand. He a sucker for a straight left hand. He knocked Roly down with the left hand. Then, if you notice, as the fight progressed, he kept landing that punch more and more. Roly was starting to bust up. He was starting to bust up. His eye was getting a little puffy. His lip got cut. He was starting to bust up. That guy was about to stop Roly. That guy was about to stop Roly. They gave Roly a knockdown. Tony Weeks gave Roly a, a, a bullshit knockdown. Everybody seen that that was bullshit. He threw the punch, and it was like a grazing shot. He threw the punch, boom, and then his arm, he was still, you know, they was in motion, so when he threw it, then he pushed with the same hand. He threw it, paused for a second, then pushed the guy to the ground. They called that a knockdown. So Tony Weeks called that a knockdown. They saved Roly. That goes to show you, man, that... The squeaky wheel do get the oil. Roly heading up. Roly is trash. Roly garbage. Roly garbage. Unbelievable. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Roly trash. Roly is trash. Unbelievable that Roly would, that this guy gave, this guy, they had to save Roly. Roly talk all that shit. He got, he got the biggest mouth in the world. And he don't really got it. He ain't even good enough to be some of these guys' sparring partner. If you let this 40-year-old man do this, he was about to stop Roly. He, he was going to stop Roly. They ain't not going to give him a rematch with Roly. His stakes too high. They know that he can beat Roly. They had to bail uh, Roly out. So he not about to get no, no rematch. I really don't want to see him in there with, with nobody like, with, you know, because they will use a guy like, like, like this. This kind of like a... a I don't want to say a Carlos Bartomir type of guy because Carlos Bartomir was bumping. He deserved a Floyd Mayweather fight. He he earned it. You know what I'm saying? But 
This guy, no, I would say Carlos Bartomir. This is a Carlos Bartomir type of the old guy came in there. And, uh, and, uh, he he really deserved to go. He really deserved to be champion. He was getting ready to stop Roley. That was going downhill for Roley. That last combination when um Tony Weeks stepped in, that was it. That was Roley's last stand. That was it. That was Roley's last stand. He wasn't laying in nothing. Like, that was his last stand. This 40-year-old guy was about to stop Roley. He was about to stop him. Roley trash. Roley about to get run his mouth, get back in there with somebody, and Roley going to get stopped. Bad. He going to get stopped because he got a belt now, so they got to put him in there with somebody good. He about to get stopped. Or they might try to use the belt and give him a little something. I mean, who can you? If he can't beat this guy, they gave him the softest touch possible. They gave him the softest touch possible, and the Wiley veteran came through. For me, that's a win for me. If they, if I'm beating this guy so bad, and I'm 40 years old, and I come in there and I'm beating this guy so bad that they got to fix the fight, that was a fixed fight. That was a fixed fight. That That's a win. That is a win. Like, they got to fix the fight so I don't stop this guy and win the belt. I'm supposed to be in the walkover. Unbelievable. Let's let's talk about the stoppage. Earlier in the round, was it the previous round or the earlier round? Roley threw the grazing shot, had his hand like on the guy side of the guy face type shit, and he just like he threw it, boom, and it missed. But his arm was still out there. And he just pushed the guy to the ground. Guy got up. He was the guy looked at. He didn't look tired. He looked at. He looked at. Refresh. He was getting ready to stop Roley. He got up. Roley had to go all out. He saying that he come fuck with this guy, and that left hand just that was sneaky. It was sneaky. That guy been training that. That's a wily veteran. Them type of guys will shock you. Yeah, and he shocked his ass. He he just kept poking it in there. He would go back to his boxing shit, and then he would throw it like at a particular time. You could tell he trained it, and he would just keep poking it in there, poking it in there. You know what I mean? He would go back to boxing, leave it alone for a while, and then he would poke it back in there. He did. He a veteran. He probably been boxing. Shit. He say he forty. He probably been boxing since, since he was 10, 30 years. So he knows some shit. And his record ain't that bad. You know what I mean? Just he ain't really. You know what I mean? He down. He the Amazon elder. He down in the Amazon. He down in Venezuela. He ain't. You know, ain't nothing going on down there on no boxing side. You know what I mean? But he know how to bump. You know what I mean? So Roly came with his last thing, his last flurry. That was it. Cause it was about to be bad after that. It was, and he was weathering a storm. He was just slipping. He wasn't in no trouble. Ain't none of that shit land. Ain't none of that land. And here come Tony Weeks. Somebody, Tony Weeks probably had an earpiece. For real, that's why I think they was like Weeks. Weeks, yeah, yeah. Get him out of there, Weeks. <laughs> get him out of there. Whatever you gotta do, Weeks. Get him out of there. Yeah, get him out of there. And he came and stopped that. That's what that had to be. He had in a, he had some type of signal to know to stop that fight. And he was like, Weeks, get him out of there. Get him out of there. The kid is, is blowing it. Yeah, he's blowing it. He was they gave him the softest touch possible. And he and he botched it. He was botching it. He botched it. It, it. it was over. He was getting ready to get stopped. And they told Weeks, Weeks, get him. Yeah, pull him. Pull him, Weeks. Pull him. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he pulled him. And then this the thing. The Nevada. State, State Athletic Commission. Probably the most corrupt commission. It's a boxing commission. They didn't let guys get away with steroids, all types of shit. I don't even want to get into the Nevada State Athletic Commission. It's, that commission is trash. It is garbage. It is fixed. It is not even a real commission, man. Like they pick and choose when they want to be real, a uh, real, a uh, real commission. That shit is trash. Everybody getting paid, envelopes being slipped, cash money, all types of shit. Like, yeah, you know I mean, they ran out the back door, and and Tony Weeks ran out the back door. They didn't even do the interview afterward. You know, usually when a, when the ref botched the uh, call, he usually do a he usually do an interview. You know what I mean, man? Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. They ran out the back door. They ran out the back door. They they really they didn't even do an interview. Tony Weeks done did interviews before. Tony Weeks is a good referee. I'm gonna tell you how we know Tony Weeks is a good referee and he know what he's doing. That's how you know this shit is fixed. Remember, uh Marcus Brown 
and Badu Jack. If you a boxing fan, you know about that. I'm going to refresh your memory. Let me do this. Marcus Brown, I forgot if it was a headbutt or a punch. I think it was a punch. But Marcus Brown cut Bardu, Badu Jack, Jack with a headbutt or a punch. But it was a very bad cut. It was really, it was bloody. You know what I mean? It was a lot of blood. A lot of blood. One of the this is probably the bloodiest fight I ever seen. I can't remember uh seeing another bloodier fight than that. Uh Tony Weeks ain't stopped the fight. Cause the because the cut was, I guess, considered like a superficial cut. It looked worse than what it is. But it looked bad. Me on my couch, like, ugh, stop that shit. Everybody in the front row had blood on them. Everybody had blood on them. And they didn't stop it. But well, uh, what's the name didn't stop uh Tony Weeks, he didn't stop it because he seen the cut. He knew that the cut wasn't super bad. This what Tony Weeks looked like after the fight. After the the Marcus Brown bottle jack fight. This what he looked like. Look at this. Me... Look at his gloves. Look at his shirt. He looked like a butcher. Literally, he looks like a butcher. Like, that's how much blood it was. This cut was ridiculous. Let me show y'all the cut. This was in the middle. of This guy was bleeding like this for the whole fight. Well, well six, about six rounds, six or seven rounds of the, of the fight. Look at this. Blood all on his back. Look at this. Look at this. Blood all over everybody. One time, right, in the fight, I think it was like round 10 or 9, Marcus Brown punched Badu Jack in the cut. He hit him with a right hand in the cut, right on the cut. And blood spurted out the cut. And it was so gruesome and so bloody that even Marcus Brown, the guy that's in the fight, he turned his back and was like, Ugh. like he had a disgusted look on his face, like, Ugh. like, Ugh. like everybody was like, Ugh. but it was just bloody. It, it wasn't really, I mean, it was bloody. It, it was bloody. But, but, Tony Weeks had the presence of mind to know that this guy deserved to finish the fight. The cut is in a a good spot if you want to get cut. You don't want to get cut over the eye where, you know what I mean, the blood was kind of running straight down his face, kind of like this. So he could still see. You know what I mean? It was running straight down. So he could still see. And 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 Tony Weeks, the veteran good referee that he is had the presence of mind to say, I'm not stopping this fight. This is a good cut. It's just, it's just superficial. It looked worse than what it is. He's in the ring with these guys. He's getting blood on him. They get to wash their blood off in the corner. He can't wash his blood off. Just un he uncomfortable in there. Somebody else blown I don't know if you had somebody else blood on you or your own blood. You've been hurt real, real bad. And had blood on you. You want to get up out of that bloody shit? It, you know, that'll make you want to stop the fight. It's too much blood. It just looked bad. You know what I mean? But he said it just looked bad. I'm about to let this fight continue. And he had blood all on him. I'm telling you, it was so much blood. I'm pretty sure Tony Weeks had blood in his mouth. He had blood on his socks. He had blood in his shoe. Blood, when you when somebody bleeding like that, that shit get everywhere. You got to throw the whole shit away. Blood on your shoes. Blood getting your pants on your underwear. You got to throw your blood be all in your hair. You, you still be having blood on you the next day. Like, damn, that shit was in my beard. You know, all types of shit. Blood all in your mouth. That shit get in your nose, in your eye. He did somebody bleeding profusely like that around you. And he had the presence of mind, the veteran good referee that he is, not to stop the fight. Let me let me show you this cut again. If you squeamish, you don't want to look at this. This in the middle of the fight. Marcus, shout out to Marcus Brown. I mean, not Marcus Brown, Bottle, shout out to both of them. Shout out to Marcus Brown, too, for be being able to just have a stomach to stay in there with this guy bleeding all over you like, like, like that. Like, and you got to keep fighting him and punching on him, and he keep coming forward. Mar uh, Bottle Jack put his hands up and walked forward like this. Big cut right in the middle of his forehead, just throwing big hooks. Yeah, he's still trying to win the fight. I'm like, oh, man, he a warrior. He a warrior, warrior. He a warrior. Shout out to Bottle Jack for finishing the fight and Marcus Brown. I will say shout out to to uh, Tony Weeks for not stopping the fight and 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 uh, letting these warriors can uh, continue to fight. But 
No, he done damn he done damaged his his reputation. I, I mean, like it, that's the type of ref you want to see in the in a fight. You want a Tony Weeks le level, but he know how to. He got the presence of mind to know when to pull the guy out the fight and when not to pull the guy out the fight. He saved Rolly. Look at this cut. Look at this cut. Look at this cut. In the middle of this guy forehead like that. Look at this. This damn near by his nose. You know, sinus action. You know what I mean? We getting all in the sinus action now. You don't know God. You don't know what's going on right there. You don't, you don't know what's going on right there. Then it's going up. That That is a massive gash in the middle of his head. You know what I mean? When you getting all in the sinus action, you don't want to, you want to get a guy out of there. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. We talking about life and death now. And he had the presence of mind not to stop that fight, but he ain't had a pr the presence of mind not to stop the Roly uh Roly versus Bar Barriso Bar Barroso fight. Cut it out, man. Cut that out, man. Look at this. Look at this. That shit is a massive gag. This after the fight. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Is you seeing this? Look at that. It look like his skin lifted up type shit. All that type of shit. Look at this. Now we when this shit going from here, damn near from his hairline, all the way to right here. We talking about exposing the bone right here, the nose bone type shit is about to be exposed. Look, he looked good. Otherwise, you know the blood was everywhere. Now they cleaned him up. He looked good. His, his eyes, um, I think yeah, his eyes kind of like that anyway. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's a massive cut in the middle. That's going down into his sinus action. Man, hell no. Nah. You you can't be doing that. You know what I mean? That would have made me want to stop it. Like, oh no, that's too. That's too. You know. But he he was fine. They stitched him up. And he was, it was just superficial. He had the presence of mind not to stop that fight. Tony Weeks is a corrupt referee. He's a corrupt referee. He's corrupt. He can be bought. He was bought. What was that? What's today? May 13th, 2023, Tony Weeks was bought. That was a fixed fight. They cheated that old man. They cheated that man. They cheated that man. Boxing cheated that man. And he ain't gonna get no rematch. He ain't, he too dangerous for, for Roly. He too dangerous for, for Roly. Roly got the big mouth. So they gonna put Roly in there with somebody. They wanna save Roly. Roly going out. They want big names to knock out Roly. That Roly couldn't even handle that light action like, like that, man. That's crazy. That's 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 crazy. That's ridiculous for real. Huh? Like Roly, man, he ain't even Roly. It's amateurs out here that can beat Roly. A lot of amateurs out here that can beat Roly right now. It's it's some hundred and forty pound guys with twenty fights that can that can that's amateurs that can that that's that's about sixteen years old that would knock Roly out. It's hundred and forty pound guys with twenty fights. That's 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 boxing off. That's part time boxing, boxing for a hobby that can beat Roly Roly Romero, R Rolando Roly Romero. Is somebody I'm saying that? Yeah, I didn't know he was this garbage. This just overly garbage. Like he, what has he been doing? I I thought that Roly would at least learn from the tank fight. Know that he got the limelight on him. Hone his craft, practice his skills, get his skills together. Build itself back up. I, if after Tank knocked me out like that, and I know I'm on, and I and I know that they pampering me and babying me, I would have been in the gym nonstop. He been at all the major fights. If you, if you look at this past, ever since he fought Tank, he been at all the fights, wearing jewelry, talking shit in the cameras. That's what he been doing. He been he been not training. He been uh living a life like he a, some type of celebrity, and and this old man exposed him. Man, I hope the old man, I hope they put him on somebody undercard, give him a good fight, you know, a good, decent fight, somebody that ain't going to knock, knock, knock his head off. I would like to see him again. I wouldn't want to see him in there as like a tune-up for like a, for like a uh, Shakur Stevenson or no crazy shit like that. I don't want to see, you know, a tune-up for none of them. 
stay away from that. That that what they would do. They would end up doing some shit like that. Shakur Stevenson or something like that. But that that's you got to reject that. Everybody that all the big top guys got to reject it. You you got to reject it. I don't, we don't want. Come on, now. that's just you. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, I think I I guess that's pretty much it, man. Just discussing this shit when somebody get cheated. That shit really do frustrate me, man. That's that's just it. it's hard being a boxing fan, man. God bless the pewters.